Here's the newest member of the Florida Panthers, uh, traded by the Vancouver Canucks on Wednesday night. Uh, Jared, thanks for joining the show. Uh, this this is perfect for you because you grew up uh, a lifelong Florida Panther fan, so it, it fits in well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, who called you, and uh, how surprised were you? Uh, Jim actually reached out to me. I was at uh, I was at dinner with a couple of friends, and uh, I was I was very surprised. I didn't see this coming at all. Um, I read uh, I read some articles in the paper, but didn't really think too much of it. Uh, but I guess uh, I guess they were right. You hear from uh, you hear from Ekblad yet? I have not. No. Okay. Um, just Jared, how do you? You are you are a conventional centerman. Vancouver seemed to play you on the wing more at the end of the season. Um, when you look at the centermen that are in Florida, it it appears that you're destined for the wing again. Any thoughts about that? Uh, you know, I I want to be a versatile player. I want to be able to play you know um, anywhere in the, on the ice. And um, if that's where they see me, then you know I'm going to work at it and uh, try to be a winger. Further to that, did the Panthers give you any indication of where they're thinking of playing it? Uh, no, they haven't. No, they just uh, they've been really well with just welcoming me and and uh, getting everything in order. Uh, when you go through something like this, uh, how, how long has it taken you to work through that process? Because I'm sure it's a, a whirlwind between Wednesday night to to Friday at noon. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty crazy. You know, uh, I was still kind of flustered. I don't really know if it uh, if it's set in yet, but um, I'm really excited uh, to to be a part of the Panthers. You know. And, Vancouver, really thankful for them for giving the opportunity to play in the NHL. And, you know, I, I understand the business side of hockey. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to be at the Panthers. One of the things, Jared, is that uh, people might, your speed is one thing. Your your shot is underrated in many ways, uh, even dating back to your time in Sault Ste. Marie. But your size, you, how, how much, you have to get bigger, I think, to play in this league. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, I've uh, I've already actually gotten a lot bigger. I'm, 100, I'm about 195 pounds now, so I've uh, I've definitely put some put some weight on and uh, just trying to you know build muscle now. And uh, I, you know from last year, I, I knew that it was something I was going to have to work on in the summer, and uh, I've done that. How frustrating is that when you keep getting told you're 19 years old? I mean, you're you're still you're filling out as a as a human being, and I mean you can't rush it. You can't just throw on weight. Uh, uh, just here and there. I mean, you know, you have to get bigger. It, yeah, exactly. You know, it, it was frustrating to hear, but um, I've never been a guy to, to easily put on put on pounds. But uh, you know, it's something. Come I really work with us. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something I really have to bear down and, and really focus on. And you know, Vancouver, um, you know, gave me the opportunity to work, uh, work with Christina Setter, who's the, uh, the nutritionist here, and you know, she really helped me out. Beyond the size. How would you first assess your season, and then what areas do you have to work on on the ice to be better? Uh, it, was, it was definitely a frustrating season. You know, we had a really good team, and uh, we we feel like we didn't, you know, um, you know, place the where we thought we were going to. And um, you know, it's it was it was frustrating to deal with. Um, mentally, you know, I, I felt like it affected me more than anything. Uh, you know, coming from junior, I was used to scoring like 30, 35 goals a season, right? So it was. It was it was tough to deal with that, but you know uh, a lot of the older guys like the Sedins and and uh, Verbata, they they really helped me out. Who called you from Florida? Who talked to you? Uh, the the general manager, I believe, and uh, actually the the co owner reached out to me as well through text, which was which was really cool. It's always nice when the owner texts you. Yeah, exactly. It's surprising. I, that's what John tells me anyway. I, I uh, uh, yeah, the owners are nice. <laughs> Be nice to the owner. They're nice to you. That's a key. Th- that's a, a lesson to learn, Jared. I, the the, uh, the one thing I you talked about uh, the Sedins. Can you uh, put it into words after seeing them from a distance and watching them play on a Saturday night to playing with them? What Daniel and Henrik mean to a team and what what they uh, the knowledge they expound to you? It was uh, it was unbelievable. You know, I, I couldn't ask for two better role models. They. Uh... You know, they helped me out through everything. If I had a question, they were the, the first guys they went to. And, you know, just to see their their work ethic on and off the ice was just, uh, you know, it was it was a great learning experience for me. And now you get to play with Yarmir Yager. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah, ask you uh, for a uh, for a hey? Did you grow up with anybody who was a big Yager fan or anything like that? Uh I actually I actually have a Florida Panthers. Uh, um, beret, beret jersey in my uh, basement at home, so that's pretty cool. How'd you come up with that? Did you ever have a mullet? 
<laughs> my dad my dad bought that at an auction when we were in St. Mary's, so that was uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, his uh, everybody always talks about his hair and how awesome it is. So you know, uh, yesterday I asked uh, what kind of conditioner he uses. And, you know, <laughs> Good for you. In the mood. Good for you. Uh, congratulations on uh, on getting another opportunity in the National Hockey League uh, and moving on to the Florida Panthers. And thanks again for joining us. Thanks for having me.